Really the biggest problem facing Canadian society today is energy illiteracy. People don't understand how the power grid works. They don't understand that everything's made from oil and natural gas and byproducts of these and coal. So eco groups have um, exploited that ignorance and we have people like eco justice with a lawyer Charles Hatt a very educated person telling people that we don't need pipelines and we don't need rail cars because it will lock us into the use of crude oil but um, what's his proposal for an alternative he says we can go green what does going green mean what does going green mean it means we need lots of coal oil natural gas to make all those free clean green machines that's that's a problem when people are exploiting the ignorance of the average person to block economic development in Canada Canada is a resource nation we are fortunate to have some of the greatest resources in the world we are deemed to have the most oil in the world by this map and um, yet we're blocked from exporting it. And why is that? Any competitor can look at a map of Canada and say, let's block pipeline access, east, north, west, south. And we'll effectively move Canada out of the competitive market. You don't see any protests for the thousands of oil tankers going in and out of Europe every day. And that's an interesting anomaly, isn't it? Because Europe has virtually no fossil fuels. When you're confronted with these environmental groups who are playing on your lack of knowledge of how the industry works, think twice about what they tell you to do. If they're telling you to go and protest an oil pipeline, are you being used? Are you being taken advantage of by them? And if so, who's behind it? <laughs>